Hi everyone, this is Mark Nowak, the founding director of the Worker Writers School, a worker center which offers free creative writing workshops to members of trade unions and worker centers around New York City and around the world. We have currently members of organizations like Domestic Workers United, the Street Vendor Project, New York Taxi Workers Alliance, Dummy and Migrant Workers Association, Picture the Homeless, and other groups. This fall, we'll be celebrating our 10th anniversary in collaboration with Pen America. Before we get started on today's exercise, please take a moment to grab a pen and paper and your favorite notebook, anything you like to write with. Now that you've got your materials, what we've been working on at the Worker Writer School is looking at the haiku, both its classical Japanese tradition uh, as a three-line poem with a syllable count of five, seven, and five syllables per line, and a more radical tradition in the United States. We've looked at haiku from the Japanese-American internment camps during World War II, uh, the Attica prison poets and their workshops with Celeste Tisdale writing haiku at Attica after the uprising in 1971, poets like Sonia Sanchez and Amiri Baraka. Amiri wrote a kind of poem called a low ku, C-O-U-P, like a low working people's revolution, uh, and other poems like these. When we last met at Penn America on March 7th, we always meet on the first Saturday of the month, that was when word of the coronavirus was just beginning to spread through New York City, through the media. As people came into the room, instead of hugging and handshakes, we met them with an elbow bump and a pump from a bottle of hand sanitizer. When we got to the back room and gathered around the large table, we started talking about how the coronavirus was affecting our working lives as domestic workers, taxi drivers, people working behind the booths at the MTA subway stops. And so I told everyone that I had thought on the way over to workshop that day that the word coronavirus itself is a five syllable word coronavirus. And that would take up an entire line of a haiku. So for the first assignment, I asked them, as I'm asking you now, to write a haiku using the word coronavirus as one of your two five-syllable lines and tell us how the coronavirus is affecting your day-to-day -day life and your working life. Pause the video and work on a draft and then hit play again. Now that you've got a draft of your coronavirus haiku, I'd like for us to end with a second haiku. This one that we're going to use as a model was written by Lorraine Garnett, originally from Jamaica, a domestic worker from Brooklyn who has been a member for several years of the Worker Writers School. I'll read the poem twice so you can take it in. It's really about that moment that may be coming in the not too few distant future, especially in some states where governments start to open up the economy and workers are forced to go back to work. Enlist, forced open, frontline, return to action, hair, nails, bail, riots. One more time, Lorraine Garnett. Enlist, forced open, frontline, return to action, hair, nails, bail, riots. Again, what I'd like you to do is write a haiku about what you think might happen when governments in certain states start to open up, people are, have to go back to work, and what might happen in the coming days and weeks. But again, pause the video and come back and hit play when you've got a draft of your haiku. I want to thank everybody for participating in today's writing prompt, pen to paper. You've got drafts of two haikus that I'm sure you'll go back to editing, revising, changing the words around, the length of syllables around, move the lines, and come up with some haikus you really like. And when you have a good draft, don't be afraid to share them with us at the hashtag coronavirus haiku. You can visit the Worker Writer Center on Instagram and Twitter to find out more and read more haiku. And don't forget to tune in to other episodes of Pen to Paper from the Pen World Voices Festival for other writing prompts. Everybody, please stay safe and healthy, and especially those of you who are working like our members each and every day during this coronavirus epidemic. Be well.
four plugs empty a bitch tied to one wrist summer madness on repeat i am lorraine garnett i'm a member of the workers writers school and i'm also a nanny lash to the forehead open processing meat plants start cotton picking 